I think for me the biggest challenge in China was um, realising that teaching is a roller coaster. Um, you're going to have a really good day where you think you're the best teacher in the world and everything is great, and you're going to have a day where your game doesn't work and the kids don't get it, and you really feel like you're not doing a good job. And I think it's really, really important to remember that you're going to have these great days and you're going to have down days and it, it doesn't reflect you as a teacher. Everyone's it's yeah, normal, yeah. yeah and I think once you've been there and you've settled in, you, you have these mechanisms to cope with it. When you've had a bad day, you all go to Starbucks and sit around mm -hmm. and have a good vent and you know do whatever it is that cheers you up. And then the next day it'll be better. Yeah. And it's really important to remember you are a good teacher and you mm. are doing a good job and you're doing a great job living in China. Yeah. So don't adapt, judge don't bad day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But it's life for teaching. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And you learn to channel their energy into the game or whatever. Mm. If they're a really, really loud class, okay, we'll do a really loud game and be louder yeah. than them. You know, like make make yourself the centre of attention in the craziest way possible. Mm. And they'll probably channel into it and love it. Yeah. So but you're right, you can't judge a bad class because yeah, next definitely. week they'll be your best. Yeah. <laughs> I think even the bad classes after a while you, you understand how like you're saying, you understand how to, to handle the naughty mm. children. Yeah, you do. And they just become characters. Yeah. 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 It makes yeah. the class mm -hmm. unique. And just set up your systems and stick to them. Just set up reward mm. scheme, um, and then they will learn to adapt to that and yeah, exactly. behave for you, you know, just as long as you're consistent with your rules. Yeah. So things like lesson plan, you know, sometimes you might get a creative block and you think, what am I going to do next yeah. week? I don't have a clue. Just talk to someone, you can, mm. like, or even, I always thought of a question, I used to think, and um, one question like, what is it about? Okay, I've got a story, what is it about? Right, I'll base around that question. Mm. Or something, just a little tiny thing, a word, product. I went, right, I'm going to base a lesson on product. Mm. Just things that, I, and just having that discussion with yeah. people can really kind of get your creative flow and if you are stuck, um, talk to people because there'll be loads of people in the same boat. <laughs> I think the first lesson's a big challenge as well. I know you felt the same, the, the first lesson oh, yeah, was quite absolutely. daunting. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was saying the, the, the first walk down because the classroom just happens to be at the very end. So just walking towards the, the door, I could see through all the children there. Mm. And yeah, I think my, my heart was up here, <laughs> <really> nervous, <laughs> but as soon as you get in, into the classroom, something yeah. happens. And yeah. You, yeah. Become you become the teacher. Yeah. Yeah. You become the teacher. Yeah. Sometimes I've been yeah. really ill on the morning. Like, oh, how am I going to get through this yeah. class? And as soon as you get there, you're just like switched on. Boom. Yeah. Like, oh, I delivered that. <laughs> well, eventually, you're going to feed off the energy of the kids as well, so yeah. they can pick you up too. Mm. Yeah, you do yeah. definitely. But um, you just got to throw yourself in the deep end and not be yeah. just and it'll work. It'll come. Yeah. It it's all about adapting. Yeah. Because yeah. eventually, even if you're having a bad day, for me at least, I felt when I went in the classroom. I could just get rid of that being teacher mode and really enjoy myself. Mm. And when I come out, I'd normally forget. Yeah. Oh, something about day. <laughs> yeah, right. definitely. Yeah, definitely. There's always something weird that'll happen every day. <laughs> You'll find there's some, and it's it's amazingly interesting, but it'll be like, oh, that's strange. That's strange. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and that's the joy of it. I think that's something that I always notice every day. And it, it gets to a point where you get so used to it, you're just like. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> of course, we're doing a U-turn yeah. in the taxi. Why wouldn't we be? You know, this, like... fire, this fireworks at twelve o'clock. Yeah, in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah it's fun. I think it was Sunday that. morning when we had fire the firework. Yeah, firework. Yeah. Firecrackers, yeah. <laughs> Things like even a celebration. <laughs> I felt like when I was there in October, there was a moment when we were in we were in the water town, just having some a meal with the other the, the teachers, and it just kind of hit me, and I sat back and thought, wow, I'm really in China here. Mm. It just you would never imagine oh, you were going to be there. Yeah. You're living and loving it, like yeah. really, really loving it. I used to get that if, late at night if it was so, 11 o'clock at night and I'm in the middle of Beijing, like mm. in the hustle and bustle, and I think, and I know where I'm going. I'm thinking, how do I know where I'm going in Beijing? <laughs> like, how am I here? <laughs> These tall buildings, <laughs> am I really here? Yeah. That's when it used to hit me, I don't know, every time.